Welcome everyone, Ed and Michelle here from the Great Indoors, and today we are in Elkhart, Indiana, in front of the Hall of Heroes Superhero Museum. Are you gonna ready to get some crazy happiness over here? You ready, Michelle? Let's get in there and check it out. If you're feeling generous, please hit that like button and the subscribe button. And while you're at it, hit the notification bell so you can be kept in the loop. Been featured on nine national television shows. Wow. As you go through the museum, front areas or gift shop area. Arcade area is right over there. The games are actually free to play with admission. As you go through the museum, the left hand side of the building is our Marvel area. Right hand side is our DC and independent areas. We do a lot of photography, just no flash photography. Okay. And of course, no text or anything. We do have several alarm systems and cameras at the building. We do appreciate if you had signed in our guest book while you're here today. And okay, I downloaded the Hall of Heroes Superhero Museum app on my phone. Hold on. All right, so you, you basically, let's say I want to take a look at Tales of Suspense, the comic book. You put in the code 13. O2. Okay. Tales of Suspense, February 1964, introduces Iron Man's first arch nemesis, the Mandarin. Mandarin is just one of dozens of communist foes Marvel introduced during the height of the Cold War. And there you go. You got that there and that there. Okay. I figured it out. So it make, if you guys ever come out here, it'll be easier for you to do it and not have to you know fumble with your phone as much as i did all right and i'm not the best when it comes to stuff like this but so i was able to figure it out if i can then you guys definitely can too you got to take a look at this people look at this is the actual motorcycle ridden by nicholas cage in the movie ghost rider michelle really was he, he was he was actually on this. And it, oh, wow, that even turns, too. I'm not sitting on it, but it's pretty cool, ain't it? And this car over here is actually the actual car in Iron Man where Matt Robert Downey Jr. landed in this thing over here. Actually, I got a, this helmet over here. But Robert Downey was in laying on that car right over there where it looks and all Iron crushed. Man? Yep. Wow. That's a 65 Iron Man, the Shelby Cobra. Wow. That is so cool. And there's an actual picture from the movie when he was landed in that thing over there. And there's another picture with Robert Downey right there in front of the car. That is some pr pretty cool stuff, ain't it? Hell oh, yeah. yeah. And they got... Looks like the Joker down there coming out of the ground. And the Cape Crusader himself, Batman. And the Riddler outfit over there. I wonder if that's the same one worn by Frank Gorson. That's pretty cool. Wow. And the Joker? I wonder if that's an Adam the West. That's the Adam the West ver Adam West version over there. There's one Adam West right there. Oh, there's an actual photo of Adam West. And is that Burt Ward next to him there? I wouldn't, I bet you it is. That was my favorite Batman. Adam that, West. The, the, from the 60s. It was kind of campy and, and goofy, but, and now we got the Dark Knight over here. Originally started by um, Michael Keaton, but it was really later in the series when it got, Pretty intense and dark. We're looking at Dean Kane's actual costume from Superman. Lo what is that? Lois, Lois and, and Clark, Clark, The New Adventures of Superman from 93 to 97. It was on ABC. League of Justice. The Keep. The Man of Steel. Here's Diana. 
That's not the Linda Carter version, though. That's the new and improved version. But to me, Linda Carter will always be the true Wonder Woman, okay? And then there's Michelle after that, right? Uh... Did you park your uh, um, invisible plane in a no parking zone, Michelle? Yes, I did. Uh oh, we're I'm, in trouble. We're jetting off to Ohio. They actually have a Batman video game here, and you can play it for free. What is going on here? Choose a mission. Let's do Bane. Pretty cool. You can pick the version of Batman that you want to play. Pretty cool stuff. Michelle's taking a blast from the past, from the old Batman classic TV series pinball machine. Like I said, this is one of my favorite Batmans of all time, the old one. Sid Caesar, Burgess Meredith, the, uh, the Penguin, Frank Gorshin, the Riddler. Very cool. They got the six million dollar man intro from the TV show on the I love that show the six million dollar man. And they got all the figures over here from the original Batman, the Robin over there. Awesome stuff here. The Hall of Heroes Superhero Museum in Elkhart, Indiana. There's Shazam. I remember when they used to have the Shazam Isis Hour. Who remembers that show? Shazam and the Isis Hour. They don't have nothing from Ultraman, though. I would love to see Ultraman and Johnny Sacco here. The Japanese from the 60s, I think that was, or was that 50s? I don't know. I know Johnny Sacco used to be in black and white for a while there. They actually have the shield used in the 2011 Captain America First Avenger movie. This is it. This is the real deal. We got all the signatures in there too from the actors from the movie. That is pretty awesome. Chris Evans actually put his arm through that. You figure his arm would go through there and his fingers would go into that or something like that. Rich Brown, what is that? Captain America? Pretty cool, pretty cool. Speak of the devil, here he is. There you can see how he has the arm and the grip over there on that. That's a very good likeness of Chris Evans. Or wait, sorry, Steve Rogers, Captain America. I hate to give away his personal identity like that. If you're into superhero stuff, you can't go wrong at this place. The Hall of Heroes in Elkhart, Indiana is a place that you definitely need to put on your go-to list. Trust me, it's only $9 to get in. And you get so much for that $9. And to, to be here in front of this car, where Robert Downey Jr. was in the motorcycle from Ghost Rider. It's awesome.
wow, that's all I'm going to say. I had a great time in this place. And I think I'm going to be coming back because I found out that they're going to be affiliated with the Comic Con in this area in September. And Sam Jones from Flash Gordon is going to be there. And oh my God, I, if he is there, guess what? I'm there too because I love Flash Gordon. I grew up with that movie back in the 80s and it would be a sin if I didn't come back for that. All right, thanks for watching everybody, The Great Indoors. I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit that like button and if you do subscribe, it'll help you stay in the loop for upcoming videos just like this. Have a great indoors day, everyone. Bye.